All right. Hello. How are Hello, you? Hello. How are you going? Good. Thank you for doing this. All right. So what is your name and are you completing VCE or VCAL? And do you know what you want to do when you leave school? Okay. So my name is Matthew O'Connor and I am currently uh, studying VCAL uh, with no VCE subjects on the side. Yep. Um, and I really don't know what I want to do when I leave school. Yep. Uh, I might do hospitality or I might work at Woolies for the rest of my life. So I've got, yep. uh, yeah, so I've got no clue uh, what to do. So no worries. Yeah. All right. What subjects are you doing in v VCAL? Uh, so in VCAL, I am uh, studying literacy, which is kind of like English, um, but you don't have that fear of doing exams or essays or um, anything like that. Um, I'm also doing numeracy, which is like maths, but again, you don't have exams and whatever's in, yeah. in maths. Um, I'm also doing work-related skills. Yeah. So for that, we um, like look at safety signs in a workplace. Um, so yeah, like traditional signs. So always wear eye protection, always wear ear protection and so on and so on. So that so, subject is about getting you ready to go into the workplace. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So any other just subject? being safe. Um, we also do personal development skills. Yep. Um, what one is that about? Is that just getting you ready for like job interviews and looking for jobs and things like that? Or what do you do? Yeah, that's pretty much it. You pretty much just like, uh, practice, uh, interviewing with other, with like the teachers and yeah, just getting ready for, uh, work and everything yep. when you leave school. So yeah, yeah. So building up your skills to do all those things, enabling you to go out and find your own job and keep it. Do they teach you about how to keep your jobs, like how to behave and speak and dress properly? Um, yeah, they do a bit. They teach us like to behave because some of the students are a little bit rowdy. Yep. Um, yeah, they just teach us how to behave. Uh, always look smart, obviously. Yep. Um, and That's really nice just be yourself. Up brush your hair, shave your face, all that sort of stuff. All right, why did you Pretty choose much, yeah. those subjects? Um, it really wasn't a choice. Those subjects are actually mandatory for VCAL, um, uh, but you can do VCE subjects. I know that there's a student who does VCE Outdoor Ed, yep. um, and last year, I think one student did VCE Sports. Right. Uh, so, yeah, just... Yep. You can did do VCE any, subjects on the side. Did you do any VET subjects? Have you done any VET subjects? Um, uh, last year when I first started VCAL, I did, I did my second year uh, in automotive. But during that time, I went like, this isn't really wanna, what I want to do. Um, so when I finished that, I went like, I need to find something else to do. Um, hospitality came to the mind. Um, and yeah, I think that's where I want to lead to yeah. when I finish All school. Right. So, so yeah. in relation to, I mean, you said that you don't get to choose your VCAL subjects, but what influenced your choices in selecting the VET subjects? So automotive, because you said that, you know, you started off thinking you wanted to do automotive, but as you were doing it, you sort of started to go, oh, I don't know if this is what I want. So what influenced your, your first decision to do automotive VET? Oh, that's a really, really good question. Um, influenced me. I guess because I love cars and nice. motorcycles, but that's yeah. really about it. And I love getting my hands dirty, especially, yeah. you know, hands on and working on cars. But then last year when I did my second year, I went like, mm, I don't think I want to do this for the rest of my life. So um, and I basically so quit automatically. Did you then go to hospitality because that was an area you thought or was it because of the choices at the school? 
Um, I did. I went into hospitality because I thought, yeah, this is going to be my cup of tea. Um, and so far, it's kind of working well. I'm still a little slow with all the kicking techniques. So, yeah. well, that's um, years of practice. Yeah. As you but, know that I know that, and I know that your family knows that. So that's that <laughs> you, you build so, up on that over the years. Can I ask? This is one that's not on the sheet, but what other vet subjects does your school offer? So there's automotive, hospitality. What else? Um, they pretty much offer anything that's in Horsham and to Longrun on. Yeah. Uh, pretty much just any vet subjects so that is available. Is for there it. an agriculture one? Farm. Yes, uh, one of our students is uh, studying vet in our studying agriculture in vet. So, is there anyone doing yeah. hairdressing? Uh, there was there was one who there was a student last year who did study um, hairdressing. So, yeah, just whatever floats your boat in vet, you can do. Yeah. Um, that you can yeah. study that and yeah. If that's what so, you want to do, then so is there school. someone doing building and construction, someone doing plumbing, someone doing electrical? Um, yeah, there are quite a few students. Um, um, I think like one year 10 is doing engineering. Oh, wow. Uh, cause you, so you can start, um, so you can pretty much start VCAL in year 10 or year 11 or year 12, like I am. Um, but yeah, you can. When you do vet, you can do anything, just as long as it's close to portion. Um, well, for you, yeah, the kids here hey? have a bit more. The kids here have a bit more option because we're in Melbourne. Pretty much, yeah. So <laughs> uh, that's all right. Cool. All right. What was your favourite subject in Year Ten? Uh, my favourite subject in Year Ten, um, pretty much woodwork and home economics or food technology uh, to some other, to other people, just really hands on learning projects because I really love those sort of subjects where you can do hands on learning and work with anything. So cool. Yeah. What preconceived ideas did you have about VCAL or VET? Um, well, when I started VCAL, I knew that it was going to be like, 10 times easier than VCE because VCE you have to um, do SACs and essays and exactly. get really, really like worrying stuff. And I went like, I'm not sure if I want to do VCE. So I started VCAL and it was 10 times easier. You do less paperwork than VCE does, uh, but you do land, but you do hands on uh, projects. So um, for example, uh, last year, we build uh, basketball hoops for the junior school um, so they can play basketball and, yeah. And we also and also last year, we made a pallet wall for one of our teachers for their uh, events called Under the Stars. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you have different things, but there's still assessments So as such. Like, you still have to do work, but it's not under exam conditions. And you might get longer. Do you get longer to do it? Like it might be like a term long project rather than um, SAC, which is like yeah, you so have to do the SAC in this week and that's it. Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, so the pallet wall, I think, took us like a couple months to finish, a uh, couple months to do. Um, the basketball hoops only took us like a couple days. Yeah. So there will be some projects that will take a long amount of time. Uh, but relatively uh, very good and very easy to do. It's just yeah. the time management to finish it. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What is one characteristic you think a senior school student needs? Um, realistically, just be organised for uh, your assessments, your essays and everything else. So, yeah, good. yeah just be organised. Perfect. All right. What is one thing you would have told your year nine self if you could? <laughs> um, I would have told my year nine, probably year 10 self as well, just be organized. 
Um, and don't do like stupid things when during class, like I accidentally went into YouTube and I got caught by the teachers um, and don't play games during class. So, yeah, so while you're uh, at school, yeah. do your school work. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. That's what so, every teacher would say. And I'm telling yeah. you, Maddie, you need to do your work while you're at school. <laughs> pretty much. So I'll tell your uh, just be organised, yeah. All right. So and do um, <laughs> <laughs> how do you prepare for assessments in VCAL? Um, some of us like to work alone when we do our assessments, and we can do that, but... A lot of us actually like to pre like to um, prepare the assessments as a class because we do work better as a team. Yes. Um, you can do it by yourself, but I prefer to work as a team because I've got no clue what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, and always like get the teachers to help you with everything. So. Fantastic. Would you say that now that you've done v well, you're nearly finished VCAL, but in question six, one of the characteristics, the question was about a characteristic. Would you have, say that to do VCAL, you need to be able to work with people or it wouldn't matter? Like, are there people in your group that don't like working with people, but are still successful in VCAL or is it a characteristic you need? Um, it doesn't really matter. There yeah. are, like I said, there are people who want to work as a team. Uh, but there are people who don't want to work as a team. They're going to like, yeah, I want to do this by myself because this is easy. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Cool. luckily I'm not one of those people. So, yeah, yeah, you're a people person. You like being around people. All right. Pretty so much, what yeah. is the biggest challenge of about VCAL? And have you made any sacrifices to do well? So the biggest challenge about VCAL. That's a really good, that's a really good question. Um, there really isn't any big challenges while doing VCAL. Um, really just listen to the teachers and do not get into trouble. Yeah. So. That's a good, good <laughs> advice for any student. And have you made any sacrifices in order to do well? Um, nothing really. Just I think I did make a sacrifice of not doing sport because I really love sport. Yeah. As anybody, as any other, as anybody else do, um, but really nothing, but nothing much, really, nothing, mm. no sacrifices whatsoever. Really happy for what I'm doing at. So I'm really happy for doing VCAL, um, and yeah, just really happy, just really happy doing VCAL. Fantastic. Um, How many people yeah. are in your class? Well, without the teachers, there are easily 12 students right. in our class, which isn't really a lot. Um, but I think most schools, most VCAL classes are like easily over 30 people in each VCAL class for some schools. But at our school, it's just 12 people. So, yeah, every time. I think it grows every year. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you. Um, thanks for doing the interview. You're welcome. Appreciate it.